This very old cathedral city on the River Rhine is one of the most important commercial and cultural centers in Western Germany. Cologne is famous for its 12 great Romanesque churches, especially the magnificent Cologne Cathedral. Best of all for visitors to the city, they're all an easy walk from the historic old town. Cologne can trace its roots all the way back to the first century CE, when it was established as a Roman provincial capital and military stronghold. In fact, one of its most appealing features for tourists is that it retains elements from all the various periods of its long history. Among its many tourist attractions are Roman remains, medieval churches, baroque palaces and museums that reflect such diverse subjects as art and literature, as well as darker times in the mid-20th century. Numerous Cologne attractions have also sprung up that celebrate the various products for which it is known, including fragrances, mustard and chocolate. Cologne's importance never really slowed, and today the city remains one of Germany's most important cultural centers. It's home to one of the oldest universities in Europe, as well as numerous art and entertainment facilities, including more than 100 galleries and at least three dozen museums. It's also a popular place to visit for shopping, especially along pedestrian-friendly streets such as Hohestrasse and Schildergasse. To ensure you make the most of your sightseeing time, be sure to see our list of the top attractions and fun things to do in Cologne. And just wait till you see the number one that we're going to be showing in this video, something you would never even have thought of, so make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So let's cut to the chase. Number 10. Flora and Botanical Garden Established in the 19th century near the riverbank in Riel, a northern district of Cologne, Flora and Botanical Garden covers 11.5 hectares and is home to more than 10,000 species of plants. You can stroll through this public park to learn about the plants or simply to enjoy the beautiful and colourful flowers arranged in formal beds throughout the growing season. Open all year round, the tropical settings of the greenhouses and the palm house are delightful, whatever the season. Serving as an elegant backdrop to the gardens is The Flora, a historic building that hosts flower shows, concerts and events. At 9. Satisfy your sweet tooth at the Cologne Chocolate Museum. Sounds my cup of tea. The Cologne Chocolate Museum can trace its roots to 1972, when Hans Imhoff acquired the Stolwerk Chocolate Factory. What he discovered there was a rubbish container filled with broken machinery, packaging material and other remnants of chocolate manufacturing. Thus inspired, he began preserving and restoring these as the basis for the museum. Today, exhibits follow the entire chocolate making process from bean to the finished packaged product. Highlights include interactive displays, collections of moulds, antique chocolate boxes and wrappers, plus, yes, free samples from the chocolate fountain. Now you're talking. There's even a working production line where you can watch chocolates being made. Better still, you can even design your own chocolate bar to take home with you. The bigger the better. Guided tours are available. Next up at 8, get a bird's eye view of Cologne from a cable car. Since its establishment in 1957 as the first European cable car to cross a river, in this case the Rhine, the Cologne cable car has carried millions of passengers. The views are, of course, the big draw, particularly those of the Old Town and Cologne Cathedral. For more great views, a visit to Cologne Telecommunications Tower is worthwhile. Located northwest of Cologne's old town, Colonius, as it's known locally, is 243 meters high with a superb viewing platform and a revolving restaurant. Cologne Triangle, a striking contemporary building on Ottoplatz, also has a panoramic viewing platform. And now at 7, monkey around at Cologne Zoological Gardens. Founded in 1860, Cologne Zoo is one of Germany's oldest zoological gardens. Evidence of its age can be seen in its fine collection of 19th century menagerie buildings, including its Moorish style elephant house and an old bird house that's now home to chimps and resembles a traditional Russian church. Oh, right! Other highlights include Ape Island with its mock rainforest, a well stocked aquarium, and an excellent big cat enclosure. There's also a unique biotape habitat where visitors can view the animals through glass without bars. 
One of the most appealing features of the zoo is that you can see its history and attitudes towards zoos unfold over the years, with modern facilities retrofitted into historic buildings of the original menagerie. At 6, NS Documentation Centre of the City of Cologne. Those with an interest in learning more about life under the Nazi regime and its aftermath will want to visit the NS Documentation Center of the city of Cologne. This important memorial gives an unvarnished account of national socialist or Nazi horrors, especially as they related to the citizens of Cologne. A combination memorial site, interactive museum and research facility, the center, sometimes referred to simply as NSDOK, is set in the actual building where prisoners were held by the Gestapo. Its most chilling experience is entering the actual prison cells in the basement with the writing of prisoners scratched into the walls. Trip Extreme was here. The center attempts to put a human face on the effects of the police state on both Germans and occupied countries with individual stories. It also focuses on the long aftermath of the Nazi era and the efforts to bring those responsible for its atrocities to justice. English language guided tours are available. And then at five, the Wallraff Richards and Ludwig Museums. Art lovers will want to visit both the Wallraff Richards Museum and the Ludwig Museum when in Cologne. Housed in one of the city's newer architectural structures, these two excellent galleries cover a wide range of European paintings to view. Of particular note are works by Rembrandt, Manet, Renoir, Liebel, Liebermann and Slebot. The Wolraff Richards Museum is especially strong in the work of the Cologne School, while the Ludwig focuses on modern and contemporary painting. In the same building is the Agfa Photohistorama, with its displays of photographs and cameras dating back to 1840. Also of interest is Columba, the art museum of the Archaeodiocese of Cologne, notable for its art and antiquities. Next up, at four, hop aboard a Rhine River cruise. It would be a shame to visit this beautiful city without viewing it and its nearby river scenery from a boat on the Rhine. On a one-hour Cologne sightseeing cruise, you'll get unparalleled views of the most important Cologne landmarks, including the twin spires of Cologne Cathedral, the picturesque buildings of the Old Town and the Hohenzollern Bridge. One of the most popular things to do in Cologne at night is the Rhine River Evening Panorama Cruise, a leisurely two-hour excursion to see the city aglow with lights. You can even enjoy the views as you savour regional specialties from a buffet on board the three-hour Cologne Rhine River Dinner Cruise. To see even more of the Rhine Valley, join a Rhine River cruise to Konigswinter or spend an entire day exploring the Rhine and Moselle rivers and their charming towns with a hop-on, hop-off KD Rhine Pass from Cologne. And now at three, Cologne City Hall, Rathaus. A particular highlight of the city's Old Town area is Cologne's historic city hall, the Kölner Rathaus or Stadtkoln. Built in 1573 and the oldest such public building in Germany, it boasts a rich history dating back more than 900 years. As the focal point of the ruling classes during medieval times, the building you see today reflects a number of different architectural influences. These include the 14th century main building, the 15th century tower and a Renaissance style loggia and cloister. Even the 20th century influences are pleasing, as seen in the atrium. Other city hall highlights include the Hansa Saal, or Hanseatic Hall, with its Gothic figures of eight prophets and nine good heroes, pagan, Jewish and Christian. Also of note is its sonorous carillon that plays three times each day. And now at two, explore historic Old Town Cologne. As you explore the numerous historic churches and museums of Cologne's city centre, the Innenstadt, you'll crisscross the city's lovely old town, Altstadt. In addition to old churches such as Great St. Martin, you'll find yourself traversing countless alleys lined with traditional old houses, many now home to boutique shops, galleries, cafes and restaurants. And with its many pleasant paths along the Rhine, you'll find ample opportunity to enjoy great views as you plan your route through this ancient city you'll also find yourself in awe of the countless monuments and fountains that adorn the area. You'll also want to spend a little time exploring the Old Town's archaeological zone with its many ancient ruins and artefacts. 
These include the Roman-era ruins of the Praetorium, or Governor's Palace, that was unearthed under the City Hall, as well as a section of a nearly 2,000-year-old Roman sewage system. Phew! And finally, at number one, visit majestic Cologne Cathedral. Located near the left bank of the Rhine, Cologne Cathedral is the city's towering landmark. Officially called the Cathedral of St. Peter and St. Mary, this stunning edifice is a masterpiece of high Gothic architecture and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. One of the largest cathedrals in Europe, it was started in 1248 and is considered the most ambitious building project of the Middle Ages. As impressive as its 157-metre-tall twin towers is the cathedral's incredible interior, a must-see when visiting this bustling city. Covering an area of 6,166 square metres, its soaring roof supported by 56 pillars, the cathedral is filled with treasures. These include the 12th-century reliquary of the Three Kings, created by local goldsmiths, the famous relief of the Adoration of the Kings from 1440, and the impressive treasure chamber, with precious objects that include ancient reliquaries and manuscripts. Panoramic views from the South Tower are reached by more than 500 steps, really, that pass the cathedral's famous bells, which are so loud that ear protection is provided on Sundays. A variety of excellent English language guided tours are available that include the interior as well as the roof of the structure. Loud on Sundays. Right, I'll go on Saturday then. Visitors are also welcome to attend a varied programme of events, including concerts and services. Be sure to check the cathedral's website for closures prior to arrival. And there you have the top 10 rated tourist attractions and things to do in Cologne. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time.